So in terms of respiratory distress syndrome, I mean, it's a premature baby who may be born by cesarean delivery. Intrapartum asphyxia may con uh, contribute. Acidosis, hypotension, all these also contribute. If the baby had uh, aspirated blood or meconium, it may cause diminished surfactant from that as well. So when there is diminished surfactant, the lung doesn't stay open. You have a low complaint, stiff lung, which needs a high pressure to open it. The baby's own uh, chest wall is soft and it may collapse, may not allow the baby to keep it open. So keeping the lung open from the beginning without allowing it to collapse is important because as it collapses, it leads to more collapse and close down. So the progressive atelectasis leads to hypoventilation from disturbed VQ uh, ventilation perfusion match. So baby presents with the respiratory distress and these conditions may overlap transient achypnea, asphyxia, hypothermia and apnea. So we may have a raised uh, carbon dioxide level and a low oxygen. So hypoxia, hypercarbia and acidosis, which may be a combination of respiratory and metabolic from the poor perfusion. So when the hypoxia sets in, perfusion starts getting affected and the baby starts going into hypotension and possibly shock. Uh, when you have hypoxia, you may get pulmonary vasoconstriction, which causes further hypoxia and shunting. So uh, alveolar hypoperfusion happens. Hypoxia leads to impaired cellular metabolism and it's a vicious cycle. So this may lead to death if you don't intervene appropriately.